What is up everybody? It is Simi Sims here and I have a brand new video for you guys. This is really my first video ever so I don't know why I said brand new. <laughs> um, But I am coming to you with a challenge based on the fashion career mod by Brit Pinky Sims. Um, So my name is actually Simi. Let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Simi. Hence the name Simi Sims. It is not a pun on the name Sims. That is my actual legal name so um i've been playing the sims since i did not play sims 1 and sims 2 i played sims 3 i'm now about to co graduate college i've been playing school since high school when i got my first sims 3 game as a christmas present and i've been playing ever since i am a little bit sick right now so my voice sounds a little bit weird um, but please <laughs> bear with me. I really wanted to play The Sims today and I wanted to play this particular game, but I also wanted to use it to record. So hopefully my voice isn't too bad and everything is okay. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start by explaining what, um, mod I'm using. I'm using the Fashion Career Mod by Brit Pinky Sims. I will drop the link in the description box of this video for you guys. So you can download it yourself. It is not a brand new mod. It's been around for, well, it's 2018 now. So it's been around for at least a couple of years. Um, I'm only just now really getting to play into it though. So basically, this is a mod that lets you become either a model, a fashion journalist, or a designer. Um, it does not go with go to work. So you cannot actively participate in the career, unfortunately. I really wish it would because that would be so amazing but it is what it is um so the description basically says it gives you the ability to join a new career in the game fashion career gives you the ability to later branch off into one of three branches model fashion journalist or designer there's tons of custom interactions custom when when to join the fashion career of your sims have skills in painting or charisma tons of custom mood lists tons of um Custom career tones or actions, which your sims can do while at work. Custom chance cards, which will give your sims a positive or negative work boost depending on your answer, which is what I love. It is my favorite part of some of these mods because you actually get to play a role in, you know, how they're doing academically or at work. And it just creates a lot of fun situations and it just makes the game a little bit more realistic to me. Um, models can practice modeling in the mirror, which I'm really excited to see how that looks. Models who have a higher career level can walk the the runway, sorry, can walk the runway while at work and can receive a variety of moon lists depending on their skill level. Models can offer fashion advice or brag about being a model. So there's a good side or a dark side to being a model. They can earn a special trait at the top of their career, which enhances their friendships and relationships. Designer Sims can create custom fashion designs on the easel as their painting skill increases. Their designs get better, etc., etc. Designers do blah 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 blah. But for this particular one, we are going to focus on the model career. So basically, I wanted to create a very simple challenge simply because I'm not that great at convoluted and complicated challenges. I cannot keep up with all the rules. I hate having to go back and look up all the rules as I'm playing. And honestly, after a while, I just stop paying attention to them. So the main goal of this challenge is to just become a model there are a few a few stipulations that go along with this um the first one is that there are no cheats allowed in this game in this challenge whatsoever which is going to be incredibly difficult for me because i am addicted to cheats i just keep my sims permanently happy all the time they never sleep they never get hungry and yeah they're only really sad when some sad event happens to them so this will be a challenge for me because I know I'm going to want to cheat. Otherwise, she's just going to miss work and it's not going to be that <laughs> that easy. So I'm challenging myself by not allowing myself to use cheats. I am only allowing one cheat for this challenge and that is to use cast full edit mode. Um, and basically, I'll explain. I'll go ahead and explain that. So one of the other rules is that your sim will make a club. You can name this club whatever you want it to be. I named it Etra Fantastique because, you know, a little bit fancy. That means to be French, to be fantastic in French. I'm probably going to change the name because I don't really like the fantastique part. I just didn't 
know what I wanted to name it. I might name it like Frenetic or something like that. I don't know. So, um, for this club, actually, scratch that. Let me go ahead and introduce my sim first. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. So here's my sim. Her name is Femi Alade. So I'm Nigerian and there's an artist named Yemi Alade. If you listen to African music, you probably know her. Um, she's an amazing artist and I kind of named it off of, named it after her. It looks nothing like her in real life though. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to name it after her because I like her and I wanted to make her African because, you know, I see a lot of, um, not much diversity. The modeling world is starting to get a lot more diverse than it used to be, but I definitely wanted to make her African. I actually might make her darker skin than she is. Um, but this is about my skin tone, so I kind of made her like me, how I would want to be, <laughs> theoretically. Um, so yeah, her name is Femi Alade. She is a young adult. I don't care what age you make her in this game, but I do believe with the current mod update, she can only be a young adult. I don't know if she updated it yet to be a teen and work with the fashion career mod, but I don't think that works yet. But she's a young adult. She wants to be leader of the pack. Um, she wants to be the leader of the best club in town. And with that, automatically comes the gregarious trait, which helps her build friendly relationships faster. She is creative, ambitious, and active. Because, you know, models nowadays are all into kickboxing and and. I don't think they're into wrestling, but there's a lot of physical things to stay in shape. Some of them are into ballet, some of them are into dancing. So she has to be athletic. So this is her everyday wear. And I'm honestly incredibly jealous about this outfit because I wish I had it in real life so bad. I have the boots. I don't have these jeans or cutouts um, with the... What is it called? Let me just click on it. The... What is it called? Fishnets. There you go. Fishnets like automatically attached to them, I guess. And then you have this beautiful hoodie that says swag up and down the side. And she has a beautiful blonde cut because, you know, not only white people can wear blonde, anybody can wear blonde and rock it and kill it and look amazing. Yes. This is basically her outfit for every day. I gave her really simple makeup, just a little bit of eyeliner, some bold eyebrows, because, you know, that's in. I didn't give her any lipstick. She has natural, beautiful freckles and a little bit of blush. So this is next, her formal wear. Nowadays, models are getting very eccentric with their styles, especially when they're on the red carpet. I can't remember what this model's name is. But she was in that movie, uh, Valerian. She just, like, cut up all her hair and dyed it silver and looked stunning. So I kind of was like, let's give her a crazy look, too. So hit her with some bold blue eyeliner, which looks much better zoomed out than zoomed in. Still same bold eyebrows, new li lips, because the eyes are the focal point. Gave her some beautiful hair and a nice little side braid ponytail. Her nails, I love, and I wish I had them in real life. I might get them. I don't know. And then this beautiful, elegant dress. For athletic wear, I gave her simple, like, messy ponytail. Brown hair. This is the same hoodie as before, just in a different color. Some nice mock Adidas pants, if you will, and some sneaks, which are my favorite CC right now. They're by, I think, 808. I don't think that's Bob. 808 Sims. And there's a few more here. Um, her sleepwear, I honestly didn't really care about um, because you're asleep. So this is what she's wearing. I didn't give her anything too sexy for that. And then this outfit, I'm actually, the hair and the outfit, I'm super proud of. The outfit I made by accident. This is this white top that's been here and I just never ever did anything with it and then like coincidentally the skirt popped up like automatically it matched in the color and it just looks amazing and I kind of want this outfit in real life her cornrows I'm in love with it there's baby hair it's laid and her braids are symmetrical 
Yeah, I can't stand, me personally, I can't stand braids where it's like on this side and it goes here and it's not symmetrical. It just irks me. I feel like everything should be symmetrical. But these are. So it's lit. It's silver. She's wearing jewelry and I never noticed that before. She really doesn't need it because you can't see it, but it's whatever. And then these shoes that I actually don't like. Let me change that real quick. I think maybe I was trying to go for something bold, but it didn't really work. And then um, her lipstick actually is kind of unique because it's a little strip down here. So it's all fully covering her lip. I don't know who does that in real life. Especially since like the lip color is halfway on the bottom lip. So I don't know if that's a thing somewhere and I just never knew. But hey, it looks cool. It works. She's edgy. But that's what models are nowadays. And then this is her pretty basic, pretty standard um, swimsuit look. Got a nice little watch and some nice hair flipped over. I do wish that I could put sunglasses like on top of her head as opposed to on her face. But that's not a thing. And if it is, please let me know. I'm um, sorry, I just didn't put any on there. So that's pretty much my sim. That's her look. Um, so one of the rules for this challenge is that you have to make a club and you, of course, will be the owner of the club. At first, you were only allowed to add one other person. It could be male or female. And that person is to become your best friend. Once you and this person become best friends, then you can start inviting other people into the club. Now, when you invite people into the club, including your best friend or soon-to-be best friend, they do get a makeover, kind of America's Next Top Model style. So once this loads up, I will show you my makeover for just Minder, who is her soon-to-be best friend. Um... And then once this loads up, I will also show you some of the details added to the club. Not all of them are really a requirement. The only thing I cared about is that there are no mean interactions within the club activities. Because models, I mean, if you want to make it and be successful, you need to be friendly to everybody. You need to show everyone that you are the friend of the world. That you have a beautiful, the bright personality and you want everyone to want to be your friend. So here is just Minder. da da, -da. And there's actually something fun, funny about her. I will um, let you know in a second when I go into creative sim for her. So I created this um, club. It's called Etre Fantastique. Um, of course, there's only one person in there. I haven't played this game at all. I literally just made them. I got her house. I'll show you later. It's just a random apartment. Um, but some of the things that they do, if you art, you know, to get inspired. And I mean, models are painting, designing, all kind of go together. Work out, gotta stay fit, be friendly with everybody like I already explained, be, be funny with everyone because you know the best models are the ones who have the brighter personalities and who are hilarious and people just love to be around them. And then of course be clean <laughs> or I think this means too clean, whichever it is. So these none of these, none of these are really a requirement except for the be friendly with everyone and work out and you are the rest you can make it however you want to be some of the things that they don't do they're not mean to anyone of course they don't get into fights because i mean if you're a model or you're trying to be a model and you walk out with like a black eye you're not going to be hired that's just the fact of the matter it doesn't make any sense so that's why that's there they don't sabotage objects so it's not necessary to be there because i don't think any of the sims just automatically start sabotaging things so and then also don't use extreme violence. That comes from another mod that I downloaded for a completely different reason. Um, so I'm not going to go into that. But I don't know if that mod makes them start to like stab each other because it's the extreme violence mod. So I went ahead and said don't do that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so we're going to go in and see some of the edits that I made for just Minder. For her makeover. If this would work. No. There you go. Modify and create a sim. Um, so I believe I already mentioned that there are no cheats allowed in this game whatsoever. Um, you don't get to add other members into the club until you become BFFs with the first friend. Because it's kind of like the whole you move to New York or, or LA or whatever and you make your first friend and that's the only person you know. You become best friends, you live together. They don't live together right now. Ooh, maybe I'll make them live together. 
we'll see maybe later after they're best friends um so no cheats make a bff before you add more people every time you add a person to the club you have to give them a makeover there are 10 levels to the mod the, like regardless of which career you choose model fashion designer etc um so i have decided that there will be no romance until level five because i always make my sims like very romantic oriented that is the only trait your sim is not allowed to have anything romantic related. They can be a great kisser, but they can't have, what is it, the romance trait? What is that called? Hopeless romantic, I believe. Oh, she has it. But see, for your character, your sim cannot have that trait. It's fine for everybody else. Um, when you do the makeovers, you don't edit any of their traits. You really just edit their clothes and their appearance. Um... Yeah, and the only other rule is that they have to go to a party at least once a week. Not their own party, but someone else's party, like a club or whatever. And just make new friends and have a lot of fun and go through the aspirations. Or the rules for the career and the aspirations. Those are pretty much the only rules. So let's go ahead and check out just Minder's outfit. It's kind of similar to what my Sim Femi is wearing. Um, this is kind of what the current style is, you know, crop hoodies and stuff ripped jeans with the, what are they called, um, fishnets, um, I'm definitely going to change her shoes into some sort of sneakers, you know, everyone's a sneaker head now, and if you look here, dun dun dun, my, this sim is pregnant, <laughs> I was trying to edit her, and it just wouldn't let me, and it was like, you can't edit pregnant sims, and I was like, what, and then I realized, this was her husband and not her brother. And if that were her brother, that would be really awkward. <laughs> so she is also a young adult. See, there you go. Cannot edit pregnant sims. So that'll be interesting. Um, we'll see what happens with that. This is her formal wear. She is Indian and black because she has twists. I did not change her hair. It was just automatically there. Um, I'm pretty sure I downloaded this hair, though. So we're just going to say she's Indian and Black, so she's mixed. A, represent both cultures. This is her outfit. I honestly love this outfit so much. And her jewelry, I don't think I put the jewelry on either. I don't know. She was already slaying before I even touched her. She didn't need that much of a makeover. And look, let her edges be free. I'm with it. You don't have to let your baby hairs. That's too much work sometimes. This is her athletic wear. Really basic, got some black Nikes on. I'm not a sneakerhead, so I really don't know what kind of Nikes these are supposed to be, but it's whatever. And then this is her nightwear, really basic, really simple. Hair is the same to everything, I might change that. This is her party wear, turn up. You can really see how pregnant she is here. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and change her lipstick. Make it a little bit brighter. Because if you're wearing an all-black outfit, it only makes sense to, you know, kill it with some killer red, you know? Alright, let's see. Uh, I mean, that's a cute color, but that's not what I'm going for. There you go. Some bright red. Let's see. Does she have any cute red shoes? Um... I don't like those at all. <laughs> Let's undo that. Let's see. I think I originally had her wearing this, but I didn't really like it. I don't want to get her knee highs because my other sim was already wearing knee highs. I don't really like this either. That's not what I meant to click on. I guess this is the only other option. Sure. Why not? We'll go with that. I need to download some new shoes because I don't really like, well, I hate all the ones that are pre-installed in the game. <laughs> then I didn't really download that many. Maybe I'll just give her some red pumps. Um, sure, they're a little too business lady for me, but it's whatever. And then this is her swimwear. So like I said, and you can't even tell she's pregnant in this. Not from this side. That's amazing. But then you can kind of see it here, sort of. But I would just think she was bloated. But whatever. Blessed with good genes. Hopefully I am too. 
So like I said before, you don't really edit any of her traits. Let me put her back in everyday wear. And that is pretty much all of the rules. I will leave the rules in the description box. I'm just going to run through them really quick for you one more time. No romance until level 5. You must be BFS before you add more people to the club. You must have a best friend who's already in the club before you add more members to the club. The, the club is also only invite only. Um, you must be a young adult and her, or an adult because the fashion career mod does not work for teenagers. I think she said she was going to add that, but I'm not sure if she has already done that or not. But I tried it the other day with the version that I have, which may or may not be the most updated, and the teen was not able to join. Um, no cheats are allowed except for create a sim for when you're doing the makeovers, Tyra style. Um, you must make a club, you're in charge of the club, and you must go to a party or go out once a week. So you can network. Um, I believe those were all the rules for the game. Let's see. Young adult or an adult. I didn't really want old people. Sorry. Not in this one. Old people are beautiful. And there are some beautiful... There's um the new cover girl. It's stunning. She's older and stunning. Love her. <laughs> the required careers aren't just fashion. Um, it's fashion, social media, writer, retail employer, painter, culinary, critic, and athlete. Because I feel like each of these careers can kind of help you propel your career in real life if you were trying to be a model. You know, you want to be with social media people who can tell you how to run your social media well or who can give you shout outs or write positive things about you. Same as writers. Real tale, retail employees so they can get you those discounts. Hey, painter. I uh, was artistic, so I just went with it. <laughs> Culinary, because, you know, models are always eating delicious, expensive food. Critics, you want them on your side and athlete because, you know, kind of like a trainer. So this is pretty much it for the setup for the fashion career mod by Brit Pinky Sims. I'll make sure I have everything in the link so, or in the description box so you can check it out. And I hope you guys check out my next video where I actually start to play. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of mods you want me to try out and I will try them out for you. If you have any, you know, rules you think I might need to add for this mod or for this challenge that aren't too complicated, let me know in the comment sections as well. Um, I will be trying out new expansion packs as they come out. I do not have the pets yet because your girl is broke. <laughs> and um, I kind of need to get back to work when I get back to school first. And then I'll be able to buy it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time.